Welcome to the Python Flask tutorial series. My name is Ronak Vyas and this series is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. In this video series, we'll learn how to build web applications using Flask, a micro web framework written in Python. So during the course of the series, we'll understand the concepts in Flask for developing a project. So before we get started with the project, let's talk about what is Flask. Now, here I have the official documentation opened up. So Flask is a lightweight WSGI web application. WSGI is the web server gateway interface. It is a specification that describes how a web server communicates with the application and how web applications can be chained together to process one request. Now at the beginning of the video, I said that Flask is a micro web framework. So what does micro mean? Now, micro does not mean that your whole application has to fit into one single Python file, although it certainly can, nor does it mean that Flask is lacking in functionality. The micro in micro framework means Flask aims to keep the core simple but extensible. Flask won't make any decisions for you, such as uh, tell you which database to use. Those decisions uh, that it does make, such as which templating engine to use, are easy to change. So you can think of Flask uh, as a plug and play framework where you can plug multiple different uh, libraries to it uh, depending on your preferences and uh, your suitability and develop your own web application. Now let's see what kind of web application we will be building during the series. We will be building a web application called Pushups Logger which can be used by anyone to log their workouts. So this is how the website looks, uh, the homepage. We have a lot of functionalities here which we'll be building from scratch. Uh, as you can see, it is a minimal clone of Pushups Logger, which is a very famous website to log your pushups, as you can see. So we'll be developing this where users can log in, sign up, uh, add a workout, and also uh, view all their workouts as time progresses. So let's see how the website, uh, how the final product looks like. So this is the home page, as you can see. You can go to sign up, uh, add a name, let's say John Doe. And John Doe at gmail.com and John Doe 123. You can sign up and then log in. John Doe at gmail.com. John Doe 123. Yes, so now a user John Doe has been logged in. You can view all of his workouts here, but we haven't added any workout. So there are no workouts for now. So let's add one. So let's say John does around 25 uh, or 30, 30 push ups in one sitting, one workout. He's very fit. And uh, he says that I wasn't sore and it was a good workout I feel great now and he adds a workout so the workout has been added now that he's added a workout we can go to all workouts and see the workout which he has added and uh, now we have an option to edit and delete the workout as well or John does so let's go and edit the workout so let's say he miscalculated the push-ups. Uh, he did around like 29, uh, and he said, and the comment uh, can be the same. Uh, I wasn't sure. It was a good workout. I feel great now. Uh, next target is 30. And we can update the workout. And now, when he wants, he can also delete the workout, as you can see. So this is how uh, the website works. We'll be adding a few functionalities uh, later where we can visualize graphically the workouts and also set up a leaderboard, but that is going to be a much complicated tutorial. But in this uh, series, we'll make the simple website called a push-up slogger, uh, which implements basic CRUD functionality, which is create, update, and delete. So you can create a workout, edit the workout, or update the workout, and also delete it uh, by talking or communicating with the database. And we also have user authentication functionality where you can sign up, log in, and also log out. So this is a very simple basic web application which we'll be building 
together during this web series from scratch. So let's get started. So in this video, we'll just install Flask and make sure that it's, it is up and running. And from the next video, we'll start developing the web application. So make sure that you have Python 3.x, any version of Python 3 on your laptop or on your PC. And let's go ahead and install Flask. So first thing, uh, make go to any of your project folder and any folder you want. Uh, I would say make a new folder on a desktop uh, called as push ups logger and go inside that. So we'll be uh, adding all our files inside this push ups logger, uh, every single file which is associated with the web application. And uh, now let's install Flask. So as I said, you need to have Python 3, any version of Python 3 on your laptop or PC. Uh, pip3 install flask is the command. And since I have, I already have it, uh, it shows that it's already satisfied, but you should be able to uh, see it downloading. And once it is installed, we can make sure that it has been installed by uh, importing it inside our interpreter. So import flask. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yes, so we have Flask up and ready in our PC or laptop. And now let's go ahead uh, in the next video, we can talk about how to create a hello world in Flask and how to set up uh, the basic directory structure so that we can go ahead and start building or coding up our web application. Thank you.